I'm Sochil Mora. Welcome to your McAllen Minutes. If you missed the McAllen City Commission meeting of October 28th, don't worry. Here's a brief recap of what was discussed. McAllen Mayor Javier Villalobos called the McAllen City Commission meeting to order, and after the Pledge of Allegiance, District 1 Commissioner Tony Aguirre Jr. gave the invocation. The meeting began with a proclamation read by District 6 Commissioner Pepe Cabeza de Vaca, joined by McAllen Municipal Court Judge Lauren Sepulveda and members of the McAllen Teen Court Program, proclaiming October 30th as Teen Court Day. The mission of the McAllen Municipal Court Teen Court is to help juvenile offenders restore their relationship with the community through accountability and personal development. And the Teen Court is possible through the support of the City of McAllen and a generous grant from the Texas Bar Foundation allowing local youth offenders charged with traffic violations, shoplifting, possession of e-cigarettes, and other misdemeanor crimes to have an opportunity to complete an alternative sentencing program to dispose of their cases by giving these juvenile offenders the chance to be represented and sentenced by their peers, rather than the traditional juvenile justice system, and thus ultimately keep their driving and criminal records clean. Additionally, the Teen Court encourages volunteers and participants to develop their interests in the legal and law enforcement fields and future careers in these fields. Congratulations, Judge Sepulveda and all members of the McAllen Teen Court. Under the consent agenda, commissioners approved an extension of service contract to the Rise and Shine Cafe, located in the McAllen Public Library for the next four years, to be approved in one-year increments. Commissioners approved an award of contract for the non-exclusive off-airport rental concessionaire for the McAllen International Airport to Payne Management Corporation DBA budget rent-a-car of the Rio Grande Valley. The terms of the contract are for the next 10 years and a concession fee of 11% of gross revenue. Commissioners approved a lease agreement with the Consulate of Honduras of $2,862.50 per month for the next four years. Commissioners approved the subdivision monthly report from the Planning and Zoning Department, which featured six new subdivisions and three new recorded subdivisions. The Parks and Recreation Project Report, which highlighted ongoing projects including the McAllen Campground, Summer Breeze Park, and Los Encinos. And the Project Status Monthly Report from the Engineering Department, which included updates on various projects including the Ansaldúas Bridge Infrastructure, the Taylor Road Widening, and the Jackson Hike and Bike Phase 2. Commissioners approved tax refunds over $500 to various McAllen taxpayers. Commissioners approved the following co-op purchases. An award of contract to Motorola Solutions for the purchase of 17 portable radios, 10 dual-head radios, and 9 single-head mobile radios under HGAC contract in the amount not to exceed $235,700 for the McAllen Fire Department. An award of contract to Heat Safety Equipment, for the purchase of 10 self-contained breathing apparatus harnesses under HGAC contract in the amount of $75,554.86 for the McAllen Fire Department. An award of contract to Park Place Recreation Designs through By Board for the purchase of playground equipment for Miracle Playground replacement parts for various McAllen Park Playgrounds in the amount of $53,604.10. An award of contract by HGAC to Consolidated Traffic Control, Inc. in the amount of $62,460 for additional lighting in downtown McAllen for nine signalized intersections. Under bids and contracts, commissioners authorized an award of contract to Blue Dot Site and Utilities, LLC of San Juan for the El Rancho Regional Stormwater Detention Facility project in the amount of $1,344,796.46 with a contract time not to exceed 180 calendar days. Commissioners authorized an award of contract for work authorization for Civil Engineering Services Contract Phase 1 to Tetsi Infrastructure Group for the 2nd Street and Wisconsin Road Roundabout in the amount of $250,000. Commissioners approved an award of contract to Oyervides Tire Service of Palmhurst for tire repair services in the amount of $90,000. Under ordinances, commissioners approved a $1 rate adjustment to the recycling fee for residential, commercial, industrial, and roll-off solid waste accounts. The rate adjustment will provide partial funding for the recycling center upgrades. The adjustment will be lowered by $0.25 cents in both fiscal year 2025-2026 and 2026-2027 and remain fixed thereafter. Under resolutions, commissioners approved the 2024 official property tax roll for the City of McAllen, which features 58,879 properties that provide a total tax roll of $64,363,642.60.
Under manager's report, commissioners heard an update on the year-to-date tax collection report of $62,158,794.08, which is a 97.29% collection rate. For the year-to-date delinquent tax collection report, Lineberger Attorney at Law has a collection of $1,808,217, which is a 31.67% collection rate. Under tabled items, commissioners removed the item and unanimously approved the creation of an ordinance that would regulate the future development of car washes in the city limits of McAllen. Moving forward, future car washes must be a half mile radiance distance from another car wash and cannot be located at an intersection of two streets classified as minor arterial or higher on McAllen's thoroughfare plan. We hope you enjoyed this recap of your McAllen City Commission meeting. Meetings are set for the second and fourth Monday of each month. We also air the entire meeting on the McAllen Cable Network Spectrum 1300 on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. For the City of McAllen, I'm Sochil Mora. <laughs>